Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly update video. And uh, don't have a whole ton of stuff to show you today, but got some kind of some cool stuff. Um, as usual, go through a quick little overview, and then we'll get more in depth. I'll crack some things, and uh, we'll take a closer look at them. Um, starting with, we got this uh, K Day mail-in car. I was able to get a few of these. And um, definitely want one loose, so we're gonna crack that. We'll wait till we get up close to crack that, but uh, definitely gonna crack that one. So pretty sweet. Uh, definitely like the way this looks. Mattel actually shipped them out pretty quickly. I did not get stuck with Toyota trucks like some other people got shipped those and had to ship those back and had to go through a big rigmarole just to go buy 20 cars at Walmart now and try to get some Toyota trucks. So definitely gonna be mailing in for that one too. Uh, so, but here's this for now pretty sweet um, I was digging through some old stuff and I found that I had this uh, uh, Dodge van that I was not aware of having so we're gonna go ahead and just crack that right now I kind of sort of collect this casting and uh, I just dig it it's a van if you know me you know I love vans so that's pretty sweet um, I was able to work on a couple of customs this weekend um, I put the Firebird on this Hotbird, which is a decal that I got thanks to Nesto P. Very, very sweet. Thank you very much. I got some other decals from Nesto P that are going to be amazing on a custom, so hopefully I'll be able to show you, the, show you those in the next couple weeks. Um, I made another kit with uh, a light. I had sold my last one. And I just made this one for someone else that wanted one. So that one is already sold. Just a pretty cool little custom with real riders and that light in the front. Um, did this for someone that wanted to make me a Silverado. We got another one with headlights. Pretty sweet. Nice and bright. We'll take a closer look at that in the second half of the video. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I got a box from J Mim on YouTube. Uh, his name's John. He's got an Instagram name, but I can't remember it off the top of my head here. It's like Just a Mike Show or something like that. Mm, I'll put it down in the uh, description of this video. Uh, but he traded me. He needed cards to mail in for K Day, and I had a ton of extra ones. So I think I sent him almost 40 cards or something like that, and. Uh, some other stuff I had aside for him. And then he sent me some Auto World, which we'll take a look at all this quick. Pretty sweet. Uh, this one I already do have. Um, we're still going to crack this one. I have one loose of these I got from Lamar Fashion. Uh, this one I'm going to crack, though, and this one's going to get sent out to Friesen's Diecast. Got to hook you up with some Auto World, buddy. Uh, so that's going to you. Uh, we got this one, this El Camino. We're going to crack all these in the second half here, so I'm just going to go through them quick. The Dodge. Pretty sweet. Challenger. Um, Mustang. In green. And all these are going to get freed. He also sent me this Porsche 959, which is really neat. Um, I already do have this one loose, so I'm going to keep this one. It's got a crease in the card, but I don't care. I want to keep it just as an example of what the card art was on this, because it's kind of neat. Tattoo machines, it comes with eyeball tattoos, whatever. It's goofy, but uh, just a unique thing for Hot Wheels. It's pretty cool. And then he got me, or gave me this uh, Volkswagen Baja Beetle. This card is crispy. I probably will crack this at some point in time, but I'm not going to crack it today. So there's that. Um, I made an eBay purchase for a Shuko. This VW T3. And we're going to open that up in the second half of the video and take a detailed look at this. Um, this was actually from a U.S. seller. And uh, you can find them on eBay. Shipped, it was like 15 bucks. So, but pretty cool. I just wanted another Shuko. I wanted another Shuko badly, so I had to get one. So, And especially this VW van. So this fits my VW bus collection. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to open that up in the second half of the video. I found another one of the Gone Fishing. Had to get it, the Vista Cruiser. Um, I don't know if I'm going to open this or not. For now, I think I'm just going to put it, uh, display it with my other ones. Um, 
course, fifteen ninety nine at Hobby Lobby is the only place you're finding these, and use your forty percent off coupon, and you can get them for about ten bucks plus tax or whatever. Um, then I also went to the last couple things here. I went to an antique mall today, and I went to the antique mall because I went hunting this morning and found jack nothing, so it was very disappointing. Uh, my Target even did a re or not my Target. My uh, Toys R Us did a reset of their die cast aisle recently and ordered a bunch of new green light and stuff. And they did get some cases in, but it was all cases I've already seen before, and um, no green machines at all in any of them. Um, so that was a disappointment. So I had to uh, feed the need and uh, head to the antique mall. And I found just two cool things here. Uh, this Pontiac 62 Catalina. And this is a American Muscle and Ertl collectibles. So it's got an opening uh, hood and trunk. We're going to get into that in the second half of the video. And uh, this Johnny Lightning, kind of an oddball Johnny Lightning. This is a, uh, what is it, a World War II CCKW 6x6 GMC tanker. And we're going to open that sucker up in uh, the next half. So that's it, actually. So the next half is going to be now. Um, I didn't really get too much this week. Uh, but I have a ton of stuff coming this next week. Um, I'm getting some stuff from a local guy on Monday, and then I got a shipment coming from, or just a few cars coming from another person who sold me some on Instagram. So we'll get in that, and uh, that's going to be it. So let's check out some of this stuff close up. All right, so let's take a quick uh, look at some of this stuff up close. Um, might as well start with this guy right here. So here is your Datsun Bluebird 510 mail-in, and... Uh, Let's just crack it. It's got one of those plastic inserts on the inside there. And there she is, loose. The lighting just a little bit here. Looks pretty good. Pretty nice. Um, my only gripe about it in some of these cars, like the, the tampa work on them, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, is not like super sharp on these cars. And some of the uh, um, the entertainment series, like the Forza series and stuff, kind of suffer from that same issue. I think they use like a different printing method uh, to put like this Hot Wheels logo and this on here than they do like a normal tampo for a car. And I could be completely 100% wrong, but uh, that's just my hypothesis. But anyway, so like these and some of like the pop culture cars kind of have like a lower resolution image it almost looks like. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. But it uh, still looks good. It looks really good. Silver trim on it looks really nice. Um, you got painted headlights that look pretty nice. Tail lights are painted. Look pretty nice. You know, of course, it's a metal base, metal body. Um, you got those cool new style, uh, well, old school new wheels for uh, Hot Wheels. And a uh, pretty cool scene in with red line tires. Rolls nice. Minor little paint flaw on the hood. No big deal. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome little model. You got the Spectra Flame yellow in here too, which looks really nice. It'd be cool if the stripes on the top were actually that Spectra Flame yellow too. But uh, really cool little car, and uh, a lot of people ordered a ton of them. So. There should be quite a few of them out there. I don't know what the kind of value, how it's going to skyrocket or anything. It looks like they're going on eBay for about $40 to $50, typically. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens to the value of this car. Because there definitely was a lot of them made. So there's that. And uh, next up, let's take a look at this Shuko. Uh, just already opened it because it requires you to unscrew it. So this is the VW T3 bus. Just a quick look at the box here. This is how Shuko comes. Pretty neat little box. Uh, these, I believe, are made in Germany, right? Yep. So, pretty sweet. Uh, this is the piece. And it is very, very nice. Um, highly detailed. It's got rubber tires. It's all metal construction. You got... Uh, Inserts for headlamps. Look at that little tiny VW logo. You've got inserts for the taillights, and these are awesome. 
can see orange and red. So that's pretty cool. You might not be able to see it too good under this light, but small, small little printing of Volkswagen. You know, it's a nice 164 scale. Now, Shuko makes some really nice stuff, but I believe 164 scale wise, I think that is a relatively uh, newer thing for them. And uh, those of you who know about that, you know, let me know. But if you go online, it seems like there's not a there's not a whole lot of models available. There's a few things, um, and all of them are really really cool. And I probably will get a couple more of them. They are a little pricey, being you know 15 bucks shipped to your house. Um, but just a neat, uh, different thing to collect, and it's you know pretty much true 164 scale. So that's pretty pretty awesome. So in my book, I dig them. So pretty neat, Shuko. Check them out. You can find them on eBay. So there's that. Um, let's open up some of these Auto World. Quickly just start with this basic casting. This is an El Camino. And in this maroon color. Um, looks pretty nice. The basic Auto World, of course, has plastic base and plastic tires. But uh, still true 164 scale. Um, as it states on the packaging and they are reviving this line so this uh, these were three dollars I believe when they came out and they only did two releases of it both A and B releases so a total of uh, 24 cars not counting the ultra reds to collect in the basic releases but they are going to revive it this year there is uh, new ones of this this deluxe or basic series coming out for auto world so be on the lookout for those um, let's see here Next, we got one of the premium series. This is the Impala. You don't really need to take a look at the card for this one. Here's your box. Of course, save your box. And there she is. Very nice maroon color. It's almost the same tone as this El Camino. You know, Auto World is just so nice. I've recently featured this same car in another video because I said I got one from Lamar. Um, well, one of these is going to go to Friesen's diecast collection. I just want to get some auto world your way, buddy. So I'll send that to you. And then we got this Dodge Challenger Rally. That one up quick. And there's that cool thing. This one I do have the ultra red of this model. And I do have the other gold one as well. The Ultra Red's still carded. We'll have to crack that someday. But like I said, with my Auto World, eventually I probably will crack the majority of it. Um, I just need to get a uh, Carney case for them. So, pretty sweet. Thank you very much, John, for that. And then last up for the Auto World, we got this Mustang. And free the Peace. On that one, there's the box, there's the car, this is a really sweet casting, I think I still need the other color of this one, in the release, I think it's blue, either blue or red, I don't remember, but this is a really nice Mustang, and uh, let's go ahead and open up the hood if I can get that sucker open, there we go, there's your motor detail, Per usual, Auto World, excellent job, detailed all around. What does it say in the license for GT390? So that's pretty sweet. So there's another loose Auto World to add to the collection. Um, let's take a quick look at those customs real quick. There's that Firebird. Pretty sweet. I painted this one a long time ago. Um, this was a totally trashed old hot bird casting. The base is still super like toned. I didn't do anything with it. Um, but there's that. Pretty cool. Um, here is that Silverado up close. These wheels look really nice on it. This thing rolls very nice. And then of course with the headlights. There those are. Get a quick look like that. Looking very nice, and then of course kit, which you guys have seen me do this one before already, but here it is again. Pretty sweet. So I'll flip the lights back on here. But yeah, so those turned out pretty good, and uh, so both of those are sold. 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that puts some more money in the die cast fund. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this uh, Johnny Lightning Battle of the Balls real quick. And here is that. That is a pretty cool Johnny Lightning. Um, neat things about it right off the bat is it's got dualies in the back. That's pretty sweet. Um, it's got you know rubber tires all over. It's got rubber tire up here, a rubber tire down here. Um, so all in all, there are like 12 tires on this car. <laughs> so that is pretty neat. And uh, I think, does this hood open? Yep. And the hood opens on it. That is pretty cool. Obviously, it's not really 164 scale since uh, it's about the same length as an El Camino. Uh, but pretty neat. This actually would probably look good in like a train diorama, an HO scale maybe. I don't know if it's probably about that size, I would guess. Of course, it doesn't say anywhere on the bottom, but it's tiny for for what it is, a big tanker truck. So that's pretty cool. And then just lastly, we're going to take a look at this Vintage American Muscle uh, 164 scale limited edition die cast. And it, I've shown one of these Earl cars before on my channel. Uh, that was the Daytona. So I've shown you how this packaging opens up, but it, it is just ridiculous. So we're going to show it again. We've got plastic pieces in there that hold this case up inside this cardboard box. Okay, the case is mirrored, which is pretty cool. And then you got more plastic pieces that are holding the car up inside the casting. So you got to take all that apart. Um, the case is nice. This thing is pretty cool if you want to go ahead and just display you know a custom in there or you know anything in there it's pretty cool so it's cool to have a little mirrored display I don't know what exactly I'll end up using it for but here is the Ertl casting not an exciting color it looks like we're, we're getting some sort of theme going on here with maroon uh, it's kind of more of a brownish I guess I don't know it's hard to ex explain this color um, detail motor there is some luggage in the uh, in the boot, uh, so that closes somewhat nice. It's a little tight. Hmm. There we go. Now it's down. So there's that. Pretty sweet. It's got uh, inserts for headlights, and it's also got uh, painted taillights. And then the license plate is printed on it. It says 62 cat. The base on these, per usual for these Ertl collectors, is plastic. But the bonus of it being plastic, per usual, is the fact that you don't see any rivets or anything. Because there's actually separate plastic pieces that make up the exhaust. Uh, the fuel tank here. You got like, the transmission and stuff that you can see um, on the bottom of the car. And these are actual separate pieces. They're not painted. Like, this is actually a separate piece, this tail uh, tailpipe or the exhaust system right here. So that is kind of a neat little detail that's somewhat, I think, unique to this brand of die cast that obviously isn't out anymore. But you can still find these things on eBay. They do go for quite a bit on eBay, actually. This I was able to snag for $7 at this antique mall, so I had to pick it up. Um, the interior is pretty detailed as well, like the steering wheel is painted, there's chrome bits in there, it's actually quite detailed inside of there, so that is really neat as well. So, just a neat, uh, neat thing. I like collecting, um, die cast that's a little different sometimes, um, like Shuko, this thing is just awesome to me, um. This Ertl casting is pretty cool. We'll pr we maybe we'll see some more Ertl castings come back in the current Racing Champions line. Uh, time will tell on that one. But if they do come back, I'm, those are the ones I'm going to get for sure. Because they're just awesome. They have opening trunks. They have opening hoods. They have detailed interiors. Now, some of them aren't quite as detailed as the Ertl counterparts. Like the interiors and stuff might not be as detailed, but... Just overall an interesting construction and just a sweet piece of die cast. So that's that, and uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this week. So not a whole lot of items, but some interesting things. Um, 
and some nice stuff. Nice to get some more Auto World, my fave, and uh, that's going to be pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching another weekly episode, and enjoy your week.